Hey guys, what is up? My name is Glazen and welcome on back to another video on the channel. Now, today's video is going to be about how to be a better Rocket League player. And let's see if we can hit 4 likes on this video. That would mean so, so much to me. And uh, yeah, let's get on to the video. So I have a bunch of things written down. And I'm not sure if I'm going to get uh, done with all of them. I might make that a separate video. But let's see if we can get through all of them. And that's why I'm going to be talking a little faster. Um, so first tip, stay back. So staying back is a really, really important role for your team because you have to know how to defend the ball and you know how to be like kind of a goalie, I guess. And this is really, really important because if you ever come into the scenario where um, your teammate is like all the way, like, okay, say you're on the opposite side, so in your teammate's net, and he's all the way like on half. There's no way you're gonna get back in time before he shoots. So the thing is, what I do to solve this problem is once in a while just come back down through the sidelines and to get down there really, really fast, I just use the boost and I just boost straight down the side of the, um, the arena, which is a really good strategy because it can get you a better spot and it, you can win the ball and then you can just like do the same thing as if he were on the other side and then he's useless and you, you can just score. So that's that's what I'm trying to get to right here. And next tip I want to give you is use the side boards. Now this is really really important because um, it, like, it's, it's not like you're playing in an outside field. You're playing in a, cl like a closed-in arena, which is really, really helpful. And you don't have to worry about knocking the ball out of the arena, which is really awesome. So you can use that to your advantage. So bounce it off the sides. Get your timing right. Take, the, take your time and shoot. Now, don't take your time, and I don't mean, like, take your time, like, take, like, like every precision move, but just just try to be as accurate as possible and you guys can possibly get the goal. Now, this is a different thing I want to go over and it is practice. And like everybody says, practice is key. Now, I spend a lot of time in this game and I mean like maybe an hour every day, which is... I don't know, I'm not really proud of that, but honestly, it's just such a fun game. You can't even resist, but practice is key. Um, with practice comes really good um, results, and um, I practice about, um, I always practice before I play, uh, unless it's on a like special occasion and I have to like make the video right after, but sometimes I do actually play before. Um, but yeah, so practice is key. Um, and I think the best game mode to practice is honestly dual 1v1 because you have to be every single part. And that is really, really important because you learn how to be a goalie, you learn how to be a striker, you learn how to be a defender, and those are all key roles. Now, next thing is that boost is your friend. And it is your best friend in this game. And so is your teammates, actually. But boost is like more of your friend. Boost is always there to help you out um, if you're stuck somewhere. And uh, yeah, so boost is awesome. And uh, what like comes with boost, you have to be responsible. And don't just go flying around because just I know it looks funny and I know it might seem fun, but it's not really tactical. But uh, yeah, so I think this is going to be for this episode, guys. So if you guys have enjoyed this episode, leave a like. And I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. Thanks for watching, guys.